Wow, two years on YouTube has gone fast. Um, yeah, so today, guys, June fourteenth, I have been on YouTube active for two years because I was on YouTube before, but not to uh, like make videos and upload them. So I just want to say I've had an absolute blast so far. Really enjoyed uh, making videos, uploading them, the interaction of the communities, and but mo most importantly for me, making all these new friends, uh, like-minded people absolutely awesome and not change it for the world this is the world for me so i thought since as as it's been two years it would be a good idea to take a look back and see what my 10 most popular videos are my 10 most food videos so well let's take a look I did not expect that to be in the list. That video is actually taken in Porf Call, uh, oh, as you can tell, many years ago. I love that music. So, yeah, that's number 10, guys. Um, bit surprised there. I didn't think it would feature at all. But, you know, there you go. It must have been Denver the Dinosaur that um, has brought people to that video. I'm sure they don't want me to see me kids strumming away on a a guitar like that. Maybe I should do more. It's you. You'll be the one to unite the world of fish with the world of man. Right? My name is Splasher. Splasher? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, um, so that's number nine, Marine Boy, Spasher Sings. It's an episode of Marine Boy where Spasher gets uh, given some kind of device by Professor Fumble, which enables him to speak, and then he gets captured to perform in a show. And I thought the clip was kind of funny, so I put that in, and yeah, that's did quite well, so fair enough. says to Matt stay stay tough and he signed head as well so yeah in fact if you want to see that photo I'll add it in now yeah it's not surprising that Cardiff Comic Con is featured in my top 10 list because a lot of people go to these events and they love watching the footage back and see what people picked up and I love going to them too I've also done the London Comic Con and I will definitely be going to more Comic Cons and taking more footage and making videos like this. Yeah, this was um, a drama group doing rehearsals for Legally Blonde in at the Minic Theatre in Cornwall. 
There's a theatre built into the side of a cliff, and me and my friends went down last Easter to spend the weekend day. And yeah, I just happened to start recording that point when they all started, and yeah. I enjoyed that clip. I've watched that a few times. Maybe I should do that for Challenge Matt. Hmm. But yeah, the funny thing is, actually, the drama teacher of that group found the video, and she's commented on it as well, so go and check that out, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your entertainment for today is the fantastic, talented Tina Tuna. You know you make me wanna kick my heels up and throw my hands up and throw my head back and come on now, don't forget to say you, yeah. Don't forget to say yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised as all of you are at that. <laughs> so that was um, Tina Tuna. It was a Christmas present I had. And I thought I'd just make a quick video on it, upload it, see what happens. Loads of people watch it. And unfortunately, Tina Tuna has now gone to that great fish pond in the sky. Yeah, she got knocked off the fridge and the wiring just went. <coughs> so, sorry Tina Tuna. But as you can see, you've made it into the top 10. You're well remembered. Guys, welcome to the first ever Gimme Goosebumps, because I am here to give you goosebumps. Welcome to Dead House. Now first of all, look at that artwork. I mean, if you're a kid, you're going to see that on the shelf, you're going to pick it up, you're going to want to buy that really. Josh, do you know how lucky we are to have found this house? I don't care, I don't want to move. Dark Falls, a dumb name for a town. <laughs> Happy this one made it into this guy's Gimme Goosebumps, welcome to Dead House. Um, so this was the first episode of Gimme Goosebumps I did and I'm very happy with the reception, how many views it's had. And of course it worked out well, I know it's not for everybody this series but a lot of people have watched it and that's why I've continued to do it because i got different audiences. So yeah, this was like the first video for me branching off into that episode kind of preview, review, let's have a look kind of thing. And of course I'm going to be starting with the Marine Boy one soon as well. So, awesome. If you were beware, you're in for a scare. So happy this video made it into this top 10 list because this is the most unique video in the history of Metropolis and I'll tell you why now. This was the first video I ever uploaded to YouTube and um, I was in Magic Kingdom, Florida in back in 2013 and when I was standing here filming this video, this parade, watching all my old favourites go by from, from all, you know, your childhood, cartoons, Disney films. That's when I decided right at that moment that when I got back home, I was going to start my own blog. I did. I named it Metropolis. And I was going to write about all my childhood favourite things. And I did the blog for a good year and a half or so. And then I stopped because I went into YouTube to continue the blog, but as a vlog instead. So... It was that parade that started all this off for me. So that's why that video is really special to me and I'm so happy it's in there. Go and check it out. It's great. I'm going to go watch after this. Is Night of a Living Dummy, which give me my fear of ventriloquist dummies for life. Great. Cheers, Slappy. <laughs> Can't wait to do that one. 
Number eight is the girl who cried monster. You should never cry monster. Ah, number nine is welcome to Camp Nightmare. I do remember that one. Uh, this is quite a popular book as well, guys. Right, I'm missing number 10. So what I'm going to do... <coughs> I don't, I'm not sure what the title is. Yes, my Goosebumps book collection. Um, I think a lot of people found this video because of the popularity of Goosebumps coming back now with the film. So, yeah. I'm very happy that's in there as well. I'm, I was actually quite surprised the number of views on that because I thought... I thought it might get like a hundred odd or so. I didn't expect it to go over a thousand. So really happy with that one. So this isn't surprising to anybody that is coming to number two slots because obviously it's an intro of a very popular anime. Well, not a very popular anime, but back in its day, people know of it. It's not actually that pop in Japan anymore, but Marine Boy is still popular in UK, America and Australia. So obviously a lot of people are going to find intro videos and watch those. So yeah, that is co awesome. That is awesome. Awesome. Another time and space, a parallel universe is falling on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Mutants and aliens and toads, beware! You're looking for adventure? Well, this is it! We're Jenny, Dead Eye, Blinky, and Willie to win! I said, Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Yes, of course. Number one has got to be the Bucky O'Hare intro. Um, very popular cartoon. I loved it back in the early 90s, so it's great to see that in number one, even though it's not my own footage really, but you know, it's an intro video, so once again, everyone's going to watch it, and that's a hell of a lot of views. Two people disliked it. Those two people are very, very sad and are missing out. That's all I got to say. So guys, those are the videos. I will link all of them in the description below if you want to go and see the full videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Here's to many more videos to many more years and big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers you're all awesome yeah so this has been metropolis on his second anniversary boom see you soon